This is Mark Gattery, seminarian of the Diocese of Providence, with a short reflection today on our fourth Sunday of Lent. This fourth Sunday of Lent is traditionally called Laetare Sunday. Laetare, the Latin word meaning rejoice. And this word is found in today's entrance antiphon, which states that in English, rejoice Jerusalem and all who love her. Be joyful all who were mourning. Exult and be satisfied at her consoling breast. Now it may seem odd to hear this word rejoice in the middle of our Lenten season, as Lent is a time of fasting and penance, where we turn our focus in on our sinfulness and our unworthiness before God. But if you remember, we began this season of Lent on Ash Wednesday, reminding ourselves just of this, of our sinfulness, our death, the mortality of our bodies and this life. We are all sinners, after all, and this is why we're Christians. We know and recognize that we need God's grace, His mercy, His love. But if we're honest, each of us is unworthy. And this feeling of unworthiness before God because of our sinfulness is something we all have felt, at least at some point in our lives, maybe even now during this time of Lent. Maybe this Lent we're struggling to let go of some sin, or maybe we have immense guilt that just won't go away from our past sins. Maybe we're having trouble forgiving someone else for their sins against us. Some of us even may have doubts, doubts of God, questioning his love for us, whether it be because of our own sinfulness and unworthiness, or some suffering or pain or trial that we're enduring that we just don't quite understand. Whatever the case may be, we all can agree and be honest that in the end, we're unworthy of God's love and mercy. So where does that leave us and where does it take us? Well, looking at today's readings, down this fourth Sunday of Lent, we can relate to the Israelites in our first reading. By their sins and their unfaithfulness to God, they merited his wrath and they were exiled. And when we read it, we agree, they deserved it. And so do we, if we are truthful. We deserve God's justice and wrath for our sins. But the story doesn't end there. You see, we hear and see that even the Israelites, in their terrible sinfulness and unfaithfulness to God, it was God who promised to restore and to redeem them. And it is in our sinfulness and unfaithfulness that God promises to restore and redeem us too. Why? Because God is good when we are not. He is faithful when we are unfaithful. He is love when we do not love. St. Paul reminds us in our second reading of the Ephesians today that it is God who is always faithful. And that even when we were dead in our transgressions, our sins, that it is God who brings us to life with Christ. It is by grace that we are saved. This grace is a complete gift from God. Our gospel today contains probably the most famous and most quoted Bible verse in history, which I'm sure you know is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that whoever one believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. You see, our sinfulness deserves the wrath and justice of God. Yes. But it is God who is good, merciful, and faithful and loving. When we confess our sins to God, especially in the sacrament of penance, when we give him our sins, he takes them and he nails them to his cross. The reality is that it should have been us on that cross. For as the good thief said, we deserve punishment for our sins, but he, Jesus Christ, is innocent. And this Laetare Sunday traditionally marks the midway point of Lent. And because of that, the church in her wisdom gives us the opportunity to remind us to look forward to Easter. Because after all, that's what all this is about. This love of God for you and me. And the bad news is that in our own efforts, we will always be sinners. We will always be unworthy. But today, we are reminded to rejoice for there is good news, and it is Christ Jesus. It is he 
that makes us perfect and pure and beautiful and worthy in Him. Our salvation is a complete gift. We do not deserve it, nor will we ever, but that's okay, because that is what the love of God is. It's unconditional and infinite. Just think about that. The Church reminds us today that even in such a somber time of Lent, we Christians must always live in hope and joy because the truth of Easter that we will celebrate soon is the essence of our faith. So let not our hearts be troubled or bogged down in the darkness of sin or even in the darkness that is so prevalent in our world and our society today. No, rather, let us look toward the light, the light of the world, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who while we were still sinners died for us so that we might live with him in eternity forever. It is in this truth that the Church invites us to all proclaim today, Laetare, rejoice, for we must never forget God's promise to redeem and restore us. So I encourage you, if you can, to find the opportunity to make a good confession before Easter. Give your sins to Jesus. He wants to take them from you because he loves you. He calls you not by your sins, but by your name. The love of God is truly amazing. And today we are reminded to live in this joy because of this Easter promise, this gift of God's love, his unfathomable love and mercy for us and offering us salvation when we didn't deserve it. This is a truth that we in the world so desperately need today. May you have a blessed remainder of your Lent, a blessed Holy Week, and a glorious Easter. May God bless you.